Hey, hey, Mr. Miyagi style. I haven't talked to you guys in a while. Awesome. I am sitting here with my mojito. I'm back in training. <laughs> training as in. I'm leaving for my resort on Monday, so I'm going to be out for a week. Um, this is, uh, it's been kind of a stressful week for me. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have, have been noticing the, uh, the hurricane barrel. Uh, it was the hurricane that was actually going through uh, um, the Caribbean coast, including Jamaica, which it, uh, it took a direct hit. Um, and that was where we were actually leaving Monday. So we we're like, oh, what's going to happen now with with barrel going through? And usually when a hurricane goes through, it's devastating enough. It's the aftermath that's even worse sometimes with uh, whatever damage it was done, how much cleanup and recovery, that kind of thing. So thank goodness we usually go on the west side of Jamaica and we have a lot of friends there. I was really concerned about our friends being there and, and uh, you know, if they were safe and that kind of thing. So we would keep, for the last few days, I've been keeping correspondence with uh, the people that we know there. These are our staff that we met uh, years and years ago when we uh, went to the same resort. Um, we've become very good friends with them and become very close to them. So I talk to them quite often. And that was one of the biggest worry was that they were okay and, and if they needed anything. Um, the other part was that we were concerned that we may have to cancel, reschedule our trip. Um, you know, we go every year to Jamaica and it's our anniversary trip. Um, and we love this place. We've been here, what, 16, 17 times now. Um, and the people are amazing. The food is amazing. And the resort includes diving. Uh, this is our dive trip. So we do quite a bit of diving at this resort. Uh, so a lot of uh, the cameras that I have, including the Insta360, I know I've been on a couple of dive trips with the Insta360 in um, uh, Dominican Republic, uh, and, and well, we were supposed to, in Costa Rica, and we were supposed to dive in um, uh, Cuba, we never got to. So I didn't really, haven't really had some serious testing with the camera in terms of, um, of, of scuba diving, and I'm hoping with this trip, uh, that will change because uh, I actually have three cameras I'm going to be trying out in this in this uh, trip. It's one is going to be the Ace Pro. The second one I'm really looking forward to is doing the uh, X4 uh, underwater and getting that amazing 360 degree shot. And hopefully I have some good footage for you guys to to show some comparisons that kind of thing. And the other one is the uh, uh, Go Three. I don't know if you've you've seen. Um, uh, I, I do spear fishing when I'm in Jamaica, so we spear fish uh, lionfish, which is an invasive species there. Uh, and I have my own spear, so I actually, a few years back, designed a, um, a mount, a camera mount for pole spears. I don't know if you guys are aware of what pole spears are. They're just um, an elastic band spear that you stretch out and you shoot the spear and, and, and skewer the fish. Uh, my dive master at the resort had suggested, oh, you guys should put a camera at the end and see what happens, right? So we were trying to figure out, and, 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 and I was trying to figure out how to do this, and I actually created a, a design, a, a mount, um, which hopefully you'll get to see, uh, no, we'll get to use when I'm at the uh, resort uh, next week uh, to do some spear fishing. So it's actually a little uh, 3D printed mount that uh, sits on a spear, and it's mounted on, uh, and before I was using, the smallest camera I had to use with that spear was the GoPro Session which unfortunately with the dive housing made it quite bulky and quite big. Um, there's no way you can put a traditional style camera on there, neither a DJI or a GoPro or an Ace Pro. It's, it's just too big because when you're shooting that spear, there's a, there's a drag. Um, with, the, uh, with the Go 3, it's gonna be awesome because I have a dive casing with the Go 3 and it's very slim and it's tremendously light. So we shall see and wish me luck and hopefully I'll get some good footage out to you guys. And if I can get some good footage, Spearing a, a lionfish, it's gonna look awesome uh, with, with that. Um, hopefully, I can switch it to slow motion. Anyways, that's that. Um, this segment will be quite short. Hoping uh, I don't want to do too much. I've got I've got quite a bit to get ready for this trip. Uh, I'm just kind of running around getting ready for a trip. So we are going to this trip. We found out that uh, Jamaica today, as of today, everything is back in motion. Businesses are back. Uh, Power is restored. Networks restored. They're just doing some uh, cleanups here and there but it is uh it is open for business so we are heading out monday thank god this segment is about um my ace pro now um i started this uh this channel 
uh, mainly because of the Ace Pro. And I'll give you a little bit of history. I won't get into too much of it. You guys probably already know if you started uh, following me from day one. Um, I actually bought the Ace Pro. No, nothing here that I'm about to to showcase was given to me or sent free or gifted or or I'm not sponsored, blah, 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 blah. Um, these are all things that I actually bought with my own money. And if you guys want to see the receipt, I'm more than happy to send you the receipt um, that, that I bought these. Uh, the first thing I did was I actually... I've been kind of looking forward to the Ace Pro because um, I've been watching this camera for a while before it actually was uh, released. Um, so the story behind this, me starting, I never really wanted to do this and, and, and I'm getting too old for this. This is a young man's game by, by any means mm -hmm. and I'm retired and I like to play with toys and, and, and you know, I don't need the money. I'm not here to make money. I'm not here to, to gain 300 million subscribers, which I never doubt I will ever get uh, this is not a business for me and I, I really don't care um, I'm doing this because you know I have the spare time and, and I, I like tinkering with toys and, and gadgets and that kind of thing and I like to share with people and mm -hmm. if I can help people with issues or, or buying decisions um, have other members uh, help um, um, kind of a you know a ombudsman to, to help other people who are just getting into this kind of uh, industry guys remember we all started at the beginning and we were all you know stupid at one point with these things um and you know to get good help is hard these days and there's so much bias there's so much negativity out there that you know i want to change that this whole fanboyism stuff it doesn't bother me as much as anymore i don't i, don't really, I really don't care anymore uh, I'm, I'm not a fanboy guys i, I use different brands and i could care less like i said before i follow where tech goes you know if 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 gopro 13 comes out and it's innovative and it fixes a lot of their issues you you bet i'm going to go pick up one and i'll review it and and i may love it uh dj is is due for their dji pro the pro 5 coming out i haven't heard really anything about this i'm hoping and i'm a big dji guy um you know, i'm hoping that they have some good uh, uh, tech coming out um, and they could learn GoPro and, and DJ can learn from Ace Pro in, in many respects you know the Ace Pro is not the best camera but for what it is it's probably one of the most versatile cameras that I in my opinion you may think different and that's fine that you're entitled to your opinion right but this whole war between cameras this and this and we're better you're better you know it doesn't have that you know what guys life is short um, you know enjoy what you have enjoy and not everybody uses their cameras the same way and if you find a camera that works for you then great i'm not gonna i'm not gonna diss you i'm not gonna say oh no you shouldn't be using that camera because you know mine's better um you know i'm not here to do that and 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 if that's like i've suggested dji depending on what you're going to do with that camera i suggested the action 4 to you guys and if i have a bad experience with one camera like for example the dji action 2 i would not suggest it because i have that camera i bought it with my money and it's probably the most expensive uh paperweight for me right now but it doesn't work for me i had issues with it i use it in different temperature settings some people use it in regular temperature never had any issues and that's fine great but you can't tell me you know what i can and cannot use or or, or odd that i'm wrong because i have the camera I have the problem I can show you the problem you, you can't tell me that no well no you should use it because it's a better camera it doesn't work that way guys anyways um, the the GoPro and the DJI you know what like I said if they come out if their next version that comes out it's gonna be a kick-ass camera I'm gonna go buy it it's that simple for me right guys and I, I'm sure DJI is not gonna send me anything I have 500 subscribers dude like they, they, they don't bother looking at me. <laughs> GoPro, <laughs> forget it, you know. Ace Pro, yeah, I get some accessories from them. I get the odd camera from them to test out. I don't have a problem with that. And if there's a negative element, I'll tell you. If it's if it's given to me, I'll tell you right in my channel. It's not a big deal. I don't care, right? Um, but I'm going to cover the things that I did pay for my own out of my own pocket. And you guys know, if you follow me from day one, that I've always been a big fan of Ace Pro since the beginning. This is this goes dates back way back when it first launched, which is in the beginning of December and end of November. I had so much uh, hopes for this camera, and and you know what? To this day, I still love this camera. 
it is still my camera, my flagship camera to use when I want to go beyond uh, just everyday shooting. I've kind of switched over a little bit to the Go 3. The reason why is because now the Go 3 was sent to me, so I'm not going to do that in this in this review because uh, it was sent to me, so I didn't pay for it. Um, I paid for the, the Ace uh, Pro and I paid for these accessories here that I'm about to just do a quick review on. And these are the, these are the accessories that I actually use the most, to be honest with you, uh, on a daily basis when I'm using my Ace Pro, even when I'm using my, uh, my Go 3. The Ace Pro used to be my, my, my go-to camera. It was the first thing that I grabbed when I walked out the door. I have two. I have the, uh, the Action 4 as well. And I still use the Action 4. It's still a great camera. Uh, don't get me wrong. But there are things that the, the Ace Pro does better than the Action 4 uh, and, and why I prefer the Ace Pro. And I'll tell you, and you may have different findings with your two types of camera. And that's great. Whatever, whatever turns your crank, man, go for it. Um, but now I've been using the Go 3 a lot just because of that portability. Um, I'm really, I really like to go, and it's not, it's only 2.7K, the new one is 4K, but, but, you know, we're at the point of time where quality, um, like the resolution quality is not as important anymore, you know, um, it, it, it's shooting style, it's, um, it's different types of environment that you shoot at, it's, it's the type of shot that you can get. That kind of thing. That's, that's becoming more and more. I've noticed that with a lot of content creators, professional cinematographer, video videographer, photographer, that's becoming more of a thing. It's not about quality anymore. It's about the type of shot that they can get that that shot, right? And it doesn't have to be the perfect call. And the funny thing is, with all these three cameras, the big flagship cameras like the GoPro, the DJI's, and the Ace Pro, there's so we, we fight about the silliest things, and it's such a marginal marginal difference in quality. And, and I admit that, guys, you know, GoPro, GoPro in good daylight has probably the, 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 the most crisp, more detailed video, right? In good lighting, guys. Let's, okay, let's, let's be honest here, right? Um, but yeah, they've had 13 cameras to work on that. You know, Ace Pro is on their first and Action 4 is on their fourth, right? Like, Ace Pro 4 could be crazy even better than all the cameras we don't know that right so um that's what i'm trying to get at we fight about the smallest marginal differences but we overlook other things and i'm gonna go over the other things with you why i love the ace pro still and it's been seven months and i still love the ace pro and i'm gonna get right to it guys um the, the ace pro uh, the, the probably the most defining thing with the ace pro is the screen the interface the um, responsiveness you know I, when i first had the gopro uh, you know i was all constantly fighting that interface and they have the mad they haven't really made it better it's better but compared to what's out today um it's it's horrible and i'm, I'm hoping 13 will be a lot i'm hoping that 13 will fix that um and plus the overheating issues too right um but we shall see i i hear now that they're delayed i i i could be wrong guys but that's what i'm hearing the we're gonna see the new a or the new action coming out i think it's called pro and then there's two there's gonna be a pro and there's a pro 5 i think i think correct me if i'm wrong and i'm i'm excited to see it because i really like the the actions i really like the dji uh, action 4 i have the original osmo and i still use that thing it's crazy that thing is dated back like forever um but the the action 4 is an excellent camera uh, you know if you guys are not I, I, my first choice is the Ace Pro. Second choice would be the Action 4. Okay, it's that simple for me. And that's, that's me. That's my use, right? Now, I'm going to go back to the screen part. That's probably the most defining thing and why I love the Ace Pro and why I continue to like. It's just, I, I don't fight with the menu. Okay, and that's a thing for me. Um, you know, it's like my phone. I really hate using my, I, we live on our phones and I really hate using my phones for certain things. You, you'll very rarely see me do video editing on my phone. Even though my phone is very powerful and I have all the apps, you'll very rarely see. I just don't like it. I just, I just, it's, it's my preference. I don't like doing video editing on my cell phone. It's that simple. Plus, the screen is so small and my eyes are going. I'm, I'm getting old, dude. Uh, and it's just, it's just, I don't like to fight with things like that. Um, and that's what I find with, with uh, the uh, DJI. 
Now, when I bought the DJI Awesome, I love the screen. The screen interface was light years ahead of GoPro. Uh, um, you know, it was just so smooth and so responsive. The screen was beautiful. Um, and then I bought the, the Action 2. Again, beautiful screen. I love the design of that camera. It just didn't do it for me, guys. Sorry. I know you guys with Action 2s are going to come on and say, Oh, it's a great camera. It's better and blah, blah, blah. And that's fine. Great for you guys. I don't really care. It just didn't work for me. I have it. I've had it for over two years. I'm sorry. It, it, I, don't, I, I very rarely use it. Okay. It just doesn't work for me. Um, and, then, and then I bought the Action 4 and, and the, the screen was awesome. I love the screen. And they continue on the tradition of a nice, smooth uh, interface. Uh, you know, and it's, it's very interactive. Uh, the menus are set very well and all the, fe and all the, uh, the features are, are laid out very clean. And then I bought the Ace Pro okay and i've noticed something really strange when i'm using my ace pro and then I'm, I'm using my dji i'm finding i'm fighting the dji screen now because i'm so used to the ace pro screen being so responsive and the coolest thing about the ace pro is that the interface the screen itself when i'm using it it's like using a cell phone it's that smooth and that responsive and it doesn't miss my for me, it doesn't. I, maybe some people are different. Everybody is different when it comes to, to, to using touchscreens. For me, the touchscreen to my fingers is very responsive. I don't have an issue. Now, I'm having a real tough time with the Action 4 now because the Action 4 is very accurate in terms of selecting uh, the icons and the features. I have to hit it just below the icon to make it to, to actually select it. Lots of times I'll, I'll do this. And I'm not hitting, I'm not getting it. And I have to go down a little bit and hit it, which is really weird because it's not, I'm not hitting the actual part of that, that icon. Whereas the Ace Pro, it's dead on. When I hit, when I look at it this way and I'm, t I'm using that uh, interface, when I'm swiping, it's smooth. When I'm selecting uh, the, the features, it's smooth. Everything is, it's, it's laid out very well. It's very clean. Um, so that's one thing for me that I, that's why I like the Ace Pro because the interface is just, uh, it's just good to work with. It's just fun to work with. And I'm not, I'm not fighting it all the time like I am now. It's funny because I never did with the DJI because I guess you get so used to it. And then you get the use of something else and now you're fighting with that, with that menu system. Um, that could be just me, guys. Uh, maybe some of you guys aren't having. But for me, I prefer the Ace Pro's interface screen. In terms of quality, yes, we do. We realize there is that. Uh, minimum focus uh, uh, range and and I, I get I get it guys uh, I, you know it's just a talk right now and it has been for the longest time that and the removable screen but we've fixed that problem haven't we and we know that's removable and we can replace it so it's not a, it's not a big issue the close focus thing you know we've band-aid solution that with a diopter uh, filter and it works you know it's fine and yeah I know it's an extra piece you have to put on the thing but you know, all the other cameras have extra things too. We have to put filters on to, to get certain results, right? Like, for example, we have the GoPro with the max lens. If you want to get that wider view, you got to pop that lens off and put it in, right? I don't understand why this is any different. Um, now, unless you're a, a, a chronic vlogger and you're vlogging relatively close, um, guys, uh, there, 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 there was a video of a guy who said, you know what, why are people complaining about this? There's two options. You can go buy another camera that's better for vlogging, okay? There, there are other cameras. You don't have to get this one. If you're buying this camera for vlogging, you already know that this camera is not good for close focusing, right? Uh, you can't do it. You can use the, adopt, the diopter. You can just move your... Then the guy said, just... He goes, here's, your, here's a problem. Solved. He moves his, his hand up three, four inches out and, and, and it actually focused in. You know, we, we pick on the, the smallest things out of this camera, and I, I, I feel that this camera is being picked on because it's, it's, a, it's a new player. Let's be honest. It's a new player in town, right? And nobody likes that because we're so geared and we're so glued to our traditional, you know, flagship cameras like the DJIs or the GoPros. Um, I, I honestly, I, I like my DJI. Don't get me wrong, guys. I, I'm not a fanboy. I'm just telling you what I love about the Ace Pro. Uh, the flip-up screen, the funny thing about it, everybody uh, was, was, was chirping about the flip-up screen. And I, I honestly never thought I would use the flip-up screen. And <laughs> I might just find I'm using it a lot. Uh, there were some issues with some people having problems with that ribbon uh, wearing out or, or not working. I've only seen a couple. I haven't seen a lot. It's not, so it's not a really a chronic issue yet. 
Uh, I'm sure if it is, they're going to address it um, uh, uh, Insta360. Uh, I haven't had an issue, and I've had that screen up and down quite a bit. And it still works perfectly fine. Um, I just love to be able to, to frame with that big screen because uh, even though that the DJ has the screen in the front, which is the same, I, th I think, with the GoPro, when I'm framing this way, uh, that far, I can't see that screen just because of my eyes. Right? I'm getting old, guys. We're not all young and and have great eyesight like you guys. Um, but when I'm when I'm, you know, framing this far, I can, I can barely see that screen. Like it, it just doesn't look right, and it's square, right? So it just kind of it's kind of weird. Um, so I very rarely use the the uh, framing f uh, front screen on the DJI A4, but I use the flip up screen quite a bit on the ace pro because i like the screen it's it's nice and clear it's big um you know it doesn't stutter it doesn't lag anything like that it's just it's great so you know to each and their own everybody does their as it does it differently i don't really frame that much because you know these things have such a wide um fov that if you're missing yourself in that frame like there's something wrong with your camera or you're you're pointing the other way um anyways guys that's <clears throat> that's one thing is the screen interface the display screen um uh, i'm not going to get through the features with you guys because there are a couple features that the other cameras don't have and i, I bet you anybody we're probably going to see those features in the new releases of the the dji and also the gopro um but let's be honest uh ace pro was the first to come out with some of these features right uh and i and i, I really i really like it um in terms of quality wise uh it works for me I've had this, uh, I've been shooting a lot of video with the Ace Pro and I've had no issues with the quality. And again, yes, we're going to have people come on my channel and say, oh, GoPro's better quality. That's great, guys. Awesome. We'll buy GoPro. <laughs> uh, I really don't care. <laughs> the other thing was support. Um, I think you guys can agree with me on this. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong. But... Since I've got this camera, Insta360 has pushed out six firmware updates. I think six, consistently one a month, and major ones too. Uh, they've had a couple of just routine maintenance ones, which are not a big deal. But they've had some major, major uh, firmware updates. And having three cameras, three brand cameras um, in the past and current, um, that is the most firmware update release that I've ever seen coming out of any company. I'm talking even Sony and, and Canon and those guys. Like for a camera to push out a major firmware, and we're not talking just fixes, we're talking additions to the firmware. They're adding new things and, and improving new things to the camera every month. And I hear through the grapevine, there's another big one coming uh, in, in July. So wait for that one, guys. It's supposed to be a really good one. Um, uh, and I'll give you an example. The DJI A4 hasn't been pushing out that much. They just had one like about a month ago. Um, and it wasn't really that many fixes to be, there wasn't really much they added to the thing. Uh, I won't get to my DJI Action 2. I haven't seen a, a firmware update for DJI Action 2 for over two years. And that's kind of sad because I can almost understand if, you, if the camera is discontinued, they don't sell it anymore, they don't manufacture it anymore, but it's still a current camera they still actually it's an active SKU they still sell that camera in stores and can you imagine buying a camera that hasn't had a firmware for over two years um and and that's kind of sad I'm, I'm a little i'm a little upset about that because i really do like dji guys i'm honest and and i'm I, that that camera really really disappointed me um and I, I i love the a4 so anyways so support wise and the funny thing is a lot of these firmware are things that users have requested or ask for and they've been fulfilling quite a not everybody they can't fulfill everybody's request list but they've been fulfilling a lot of the main requests that users their end users have been have been asking for which is great and we're gonna see more in the next version uh, i believe uh so i'm told um the other one i want to mention too is uh, a lot of people saying oh this camera is more expensive well one of the reasons why i'm doing this is because um uh, Insta360 is gearing up for a huge, uh, they call it Prime Day sale, kind of like Amazon. Um, there's significant, significant savings. And I believe the Ace Pro is going to, the price is going to be knocked down to the same price or competitive with the Action 4 and the GoPro 12. 
So, and, and, and if you guys have always been kind of humming and hawing about the price and, and deciding w which one to get and straight away from the ace four because of the price, here's a good chance to do it because the prices are going to be competitive. It's going to be flat line across, I believe, with all the other flagship um, cameras. Uh, there's a ton of stuff on sale. I'll put up some um, ads on here. I think you've already seen them. So I just copy and paste it. Uh, some of the ads and i'm i might be buying a few accessories myself because some of the uh, discounts are really good i think that's 22 percent off the the big cameras like the uh, uh the x4s the go3 uh not the 3s i don't think the 3s is on sale the ace pro is going to be on sale so please guys take a look at this flyer um it's coming out it's launching on the 11th of july i won't be here so i'm going to do this ahead of time and i'll push it out um, I, I'm an affiliate with Insta360. I'm an affiliate with Amazon as well. Um, if you guys want to buy through my affiliate links, great. You know, buys me a few coffees and that's great. If you don't, I'm not going to lose sleep over it. Yeah, you do as you want. Um, but yeah, if you can help out, I don't get paid for any of this stuff. So I just do this for fun. Yeah, take a look at my description down below. I'll have the affiliate um, link to the big sale coming up. The accessories that I bought that I actually use, actually, I, they, it's funny because <clears throat> I got some free accessories from uh, um, uh, Insta360 to test out and review, and you guys have seen it. And 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 the funny thing is the ones that I use the most are the ones I actually bought. Uh, <laughs> so uh, the one thing was the magnetic um, uh, selfie stick holder. Uh, the, I love it. Uh, this thing's great. I, I, the guy who invented this is brilliant. Like, it's just, I use it. On my trips, I'm bringing it with my trip. I used it in Cuba. I used it in Dominican. You know, I, it's just a cool little accessory. Like it's so easy just to to clip on and knock take off. You know, it's all magnetic, so it just sticks on. It doesn't come out. Um, so I love this thing. Again, there's a link down below if you guys want to go with the affiliate link to buy it. Great. If you don't, you can go to Insta360 and they have it on there. I think it's about. 80 bucks 89 bucks something like that around a uh, canadian uh, around that price um but yeah uh, uh guys if you get a chance uh pick it up it's it's a great little accessory the other one uh it's not an insta360 accessory it's the cage uh, i have the polymer case on here um the cage the rabbit cage um i really like it uh now the problem with this is and i bought this and i think it was like 18 bucks 19 bucks canadian I got off AliExpress. It's an A Magazine, A Magazine product. Uh, you guys have heard of that brand. They do a lot of accessories for cameras. They actually do the uh, the lens guard uh, replacements for the Ace Pro. I like this cage because it's it's polymer, so it's plastic. The reason I have a metal one as well. It's a Heapel one. Um, the metal one's a little bit more. The reason why I don't like the metal one is because I find it it's sharp in some corners. And some people have reported that they've actually scratched their camera with the metal cage. You can't do it with the plastic. I don't think you can. I've never, I've taken this thing in and out so many times that <clears throat> I've never scratched it. Uh, it fits really well, gives it that extra protection. Yeah, it does make it a little bit bulkier. The plastic one's kind of nice because the plastic one has a vertical mount built into it. You can actually mount it this way, like this. Or you can mount it on the side and it's got the built in and it's even got a quarter inch for tripod as well. So you can just mount it as well on a, uh, on a portrait mode. Uh, that's what I like about this cage. And you can take it out easy. Now, the one thing, and it has a hot shoe on the top. So you can put in a light or whatever if you're doing vlogging and that kind of thing. Now, the one thing, I, the one thing that was kind of a pain in the butt with this one is that when I bought it, it was such a tight fit that you have to be really careful because... On the top of the uh, on the top of the cage, I found that there were where the power button is. Uh, there were some sharp edges, and when you take it out, it would scrape against that rubber power button. And I think somebody reported they cut it with a cage like this. So I just took a file and just filed it down. Now it's nice and, and take a sandpaper and just sand it down. Now it's nice and smooth. Uh, so it's not it's not going to cut into that. So that's something that you might want to do when you get if you do buy this. Um, it does have the necessary openings for the battery door, so you can pop. Uh, sorry, not the battery door, the um, <clears throat> the USB and the SD card panel, and it has the quick um, button. It does seal the power button or the uh, the battery door. Which is kind of nice because, <clears throat> as you've heard, that there's been people 
that have bumped that battery door accidentally and, and opened it uh, by mistake. Um, this is a good way to prevent that from happening because you cannot access the battery uh, door from, from this cage because it's completely covered. Okay, so that's a, that's a tip for this one. And this one's about 18 bucks, 19 bucks Canadian. Um, this one's about uh, 89 bucks Canadian for the magnetic holster or the selfie stick holster. And the other one's pretty simple, guys. Um, it's just the Insta360 um, uh, selfie stick. This one is actually extended pretty good. Uh, I like this because it, it's it's relatively rugged and it actually comes built in with the uh, the tripod uh, so you can actually stand it up so I don't need a separate I have the the one the separate screw in um, the legs but then you have to screw it in and you have to find a selfie stick that has the threading this one just has a built in it's a little bit thicker but at least you don't have to carry another piece around so you always have a tripod uh, ready if you need to stand it up on the ground so um, <clears throat> so that's that Guys, uh, uh, I hope this is short. I don't know if it's probably about half an hour. <laughs> Never fails. I'm going to get some footage out to you guys for diving, hopefully. Um, and some cool footage. The resort, the resort that we go through is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, I want to get some nice footage. Uh, uh, I'm going to be on a catamaran as well. And I'll get some footage with that. Uh, there's a couple that I know who's re renewing their vow on a catamaran cruise. And, and they want me to um to film it with the x4 and get some really cool footage some fun cool footage for them so it'll be fun <clears throat> uh, other than that i don't have anything else there's a couple things that uh um coming up the big sale on the it's on july 11th so next week i won't be here uh, i'm gonna be gone so i decided to do this and just launch it probably on monday and then you guys can take a peek at it um and there's another device coming out it's not a camera Insta360 is going to be launching a new device on the 9th, Tuesday. They'll be launching a new device. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is. I already know what it is. It's a surprise. Uh, it's actually kind of cool. Um, I might actually pick it up myself, to be honest with you. So, uh, I would love to try this thing out. But stay tuned. Um, they're not, it's not a huge launch, but it's, it's kind of cool that they're coming out with this. And it's something that's probably... Um, been anticipated uh, for a while and you don't see too many of this particular thing out so <laughs> I'll leave it at that I don't want to give out too much I've been really having fun with it you guys have seen that I've, I've been kind of playing a lot with my uh, DJI Avada 2 drone um, <laughs> I've been doing some weird stuff uh, with it oh the other thing too um, there's been people saying that oh this is not an action camera blah 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 I can't use an action you know it's BS okay I've had this thing on the mountain bike. I've had this thing diving. I've had this thing snorkeling. I've had this thing in a pool. Uh, and uh, you know what? I actually, if you saw one of my videos, I actually mounted this on my DJI Vada and I flew it on my drone. And it actually, cr <laughs> I actually crashed it with this camera on it. With the Ace Pro, nope, not a nick, not a scratch. Works fine, no problems with it. And you see that on the film. It's the last segment on the, the five camera in a drone. So on the on if you see that video on the end, that's the Ace Pro. Um, so the I don't know if you know anything about the DJI Avada 2. Uh, it's kind of like a hybrid FPV drone. Um, if you you can actually fly like an FPV, and there's a mode called what they call Easy Acro. It, it stands for Easy Acrobat. Okay, it's 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 basically program presets on the on the drone that with a flick of a, the joystick, it, it, it'll watch you do uh, acrobats, like uh, uh, turning, uh, flipping forward, flipping backwards. And it does that, what they call a sliding view, where when it flies towards you, you hit the right, it'll actually turn around <clears throat> and fly backwards and keep filming, uh, uh, keep filming you. Um, these are things that you normally would find on a, on a true FPV drone, but it takes a lot of skill, a lot of training, and a lot of practice to accomplish these particular acrobat moves and DJI Avada 2 has managed to put it in a one stroke preset so you just hit it once and it does all does all those things so which is kind of cool and I I was playing around with the Ace Pro it's amazing that this drone the this drone has a pretty good payload it can actually hold quite a bit and I had, and, and of all the cameras, the, the Ace Pro that's on the drone was, was the second heaviest. The heaviest camera was the X4. I actually managed to get the X4 on the drone, but it had some wobble issues, which I'm fixing it right now with something like this. 
anyway, so we'll get, well, you'll see that, you'll see that video soon. Um, <clears throat> but I had the Ace Pro on the drone. And I was doing all these acrobats with it. And it actually worked. It, it did the slide. It did the side, uh, as you can see in the video. And what I did was, now, when you do a 180-degree rotate, uh, what it does is it drops the altitude of the drone. Um, because it's, it's, it's going forward, <clears throat> and it'll drop. And with this payload on it, with the weight on it, it dropped even more, right? Uh, which is inevitable. The drone's not designed to hold payload. It's, it's, it's got a built-in camera. So you do, it's not like an FPV drone where... You know, you just have a flying drone. There's no camera. You actually put a camera on it. It's strong enough to hold that weight and fly it effectively. The DJI has, it's not really designed to do that. It has a camera built. It has a great camera, but I want something that's forward and backwards. And I want 360 on this on this drone just to play around with. If you saw the video at the very end, uh, I did a, I think I did a forward flip or a backward flip and I, and it would drop the altitude. I was pretty close to ground and I, and I, and I hit the forward by accident. Because so, you only have to hit it once, and it will actually do the flip. And you saw it do a flip, and it <laughs> hit the ground. And and it's funny. I'm like, oh no, I hope it didn't break my camera or, or the drone for any man. It's an expensive toy, guys. Um, so I went over, and it, I, apparently, if you look at the, I, it, I think it landed this way and hit the uh, and hit the camera first. And I took it out. There was some grass on there. It's not a big deal. Uh, I didn't have the cage on it, so I just had the naked uh, Ace Pro on it. Not a scratch on it. Turn it on. It was fine. It was still actually. It was still recording. Um, yeah, I didn't have any issues with it at all. So yeah, you know, it, it's taken falls. It's been in the water. Uh, uh, I've dropped it a couple times. It's been on my bike. Uh, as an action camera, yeah, absolutely. It's a it's a it's a great action camera to be honest with you. Um, <clears throat> I haven't taken it to hunting yet because my season doesn't start till October. I'm hoping to get this out in the hunting ground and do some hunting with it. Um, so that's the that's probably the other ultimate test for me. Um, I'll see you guys in a week hopefully and I'll send up pictures as much as I can. Have a great week guys. Respect. Enjoy. Ciao.